When I say run, run like a rabbit. Run! <laughs> <laughs> Well, hello and welcome to The Shallow Proclamation. My name is Paul and I'm joined as always by... I'm Thomas. And uh, we are... <laughs> no idea, no idea. I, I, I saw I saw you and I just thought, I'm not even going to comment. Just going to keep going. <laughs> I'm just trying to think, what new things can I do each week? <laughs> Anyway, we're watching Power of the Daleks, <laughs> and we've watched the first two episodes. We're about to watch episode three of the uh, the debut story for Patrick Troughton. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, I guess it's a kind of uh, a shrewd move on the part of the BBC, isn't it? I guess. I guess they thought we'd better have a a Dalek story as our first one. Gives it it's a, a touchstone. <laughs> isn't it <laughs> all right thomas sorry it froze i kind of <laughs> lost what he's i lost you at touchstone oh yeah so it's a touchstone for people who might be feeling a bit disconcerted by their new doctor right. so having a familiar enemy that uh, is very much established in doctor who gives you that continuity doesn't it um that's a very good point yeah but it'd be interesting to see how it goes because as, as we've said the daleks are not acting in the way we'd expect them to and then, of course, we've got a doctor who is still sort of settling in um, to the new role. Also on that, the fact that we've still got Ben and Polly um, kind of ties it over, doesn't it? But yeah, so um, let us know what you're making of this story so far. Do you check comments down below. We do like engaging with those as best we can. Um, and obviously lots of nice bits of trivia crop up in there as well that we like reading. And yeah, give the channel a subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, give the video a like. Pass this on to others who you think might be interested. It's equivalent to the quantity of the other kind of energy produced. I have no damage. How powerful is it? Killed Resno, Lesterson's assistant. No, Lesterson did kill him. I thought she said he wasn't dead at the time. Taking a few days off. Huh. On the body. Yeah. In the Mercury swamp. Ah, she lied. What do you think of the doctor's hat? <laughs> um, it's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Gryffindor. <laughs> Don't see many stovepipe hats these days. Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah. I don't think I've I don't think I've seen one depicted before. Maybe we should uh, get matching stovepipe hats. <laughs> Maybe so. Proclamation merch. That means we can get into his laboratory. Again. You notice the uh, doctor's also uh, wearing a bow tie. Ah, is he? Because they're cool. Bow ties are cool. Yes. Ah. ah, ah. Stand back! Don't be fighting it, Ben! It's not armed! Oh. Those ones are armed. <laughs> yep. When I say run, run like a rabbit. Run! It's <laughs> <laughs> a nice shot. Yeah. But if you didn't do it, Lesterson, then the Dalek must have used your power supply and reactivated the others itself. I was going to do that anyway. Are you off your Is head? Is he like Lester's son? Then we turn off the electricity, disarm them, and then everything is safe again. <laughs> He'd make a right father Christmas, wouldn't he? I'd rather fight a hundred of his than one Dalek. He's got a quip for everything, Ben. Yeah. He's very equipped. Listen to this. Dude. The girl is safe. She will remain so as long as you leave the Daleks alone. We're not quite vibing this evening. <laughs> we do not need guns. I was wrong about guns. Guns don't kill people. Rappers do. Yes, everything you need, you can have. We're like sweet rappers. <laughs> have you not heard that song? I haven't, no. Oh, mate. Yeah, what are you, what are you making of that then? Yeah, there's a lot in there to to tickle the viewer. Um, yeah, no, it's <laughs> it tick it ticks all the boxes, doesn't it? I I knew it would tickle the boxes, all all the boxes. 
But um, you feel your box has of... been tickled? Then? <laughs> no, yeah. as in it has ticked all <laughs> the box. Oh, I see. Right. <laughs> as a Doctor Who episode in it, you've got just to get a great setup. Uh, sorry, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> <laughs> got away from you there. <laughs> yeah. No, I I really liked the scene where uh, Ben and the Doctor were speaking to the Dalek, and then he got his two chums. And then they were like, oh, those ones do have guns. Whoops. Run run like a rabbit. Run like a rabbit. <laughs> uh, that was nice. Um, yeah. The, this Dalek is gradually... Yeah, it's uh, the idea that the Daleks can kind of get back, come back from the brink of uh, being destroyed. You only need one Dalek up and mm. running. And then it's... Uh, downhill from there that was probably my favorite part what about you yeah i mean i think the intrigue's building isn't it as we've got is it jan lee the the lady uh who is assisting in the lab clearly febly (laughs) marchly uh just (laughs) it's just (laughs) it's just word association football with you tonight isn't it (laughs) gene marchly uh, um, the um, I like how the the <laughs> sort of developing a bit now. So we're beginning to you know we said it, I said I think I said after the first one you get a sense everybody's quite uptight everybody's quite tense, um, standoffish as characters and you can kind of see that coming to the fruition now a little bit as the sort of uh, the relationships you know you're beginning to see who's who's a good and then who's a wrong and. Um, so that I like that bit of intrigue going on there. Interesting having that guy, Bregan, was it, who said he, uh, who seems like he might have murdered the examiner, but he and the doctor, you know, not quite prepared to either of them to come forward. Yeah, but, that gave him Bragan rights, didn't it? Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, and then I guess like again, we just more good scenes with the Daleks as they, you know, saying that we, you know, we will have our power. I like the Dalek, um, you know, working behind Lesterson's back. You know, he's obviously completely oblivious to them. Uh, they're cunning, yeah. um, but they're yeah. kind of you know siphoning off the power for their own ends. And yeah, so I like the ending there. We will have our power, which uh, little double meaning there, I guess. You know, mm, so, literally. Um, yeah, I like that. I think that's probably the little. Uh, yeah, I think I think some of the, some. It's hard to pick a highlight. I mean, the the specific moment. I think it's things like you said with the Doctor saying "run like a rabbit." It's beginning to see little elements of the Doctor's character that uh, I'm more familiar with. So I like that. Run like a rabbit. <laughs> yeah, as a song, isn't it? Run rabbit. Yeah. Yep. Who did that? Was it uh, Slipknot? <laughs> no. Are you thinking of Run Rabbit, Run Rabbit, Run Run Run, or are you thinking of Rabbit by Chaz and Dave? Um, yeah, I think I was thinking of the the wartime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you telling me you've not heard Rabbit by Chaz and Dave? No, I haven't. Are we going to have to react to that as well? We're going to have to watch this. We're going to have to watch Goldie Looking Chain. <laughs> Guns don't kill people. <laughs> Daleks do. There you, you need go. to give me a music education. I Dear think. me, this could become a whole new channel. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. It's been, uh, it's been good, hasn't it? It's, it's been an experience. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's been something. It has uh, been. We'll be back soon for some more of this, whatever this is. Um, anything to add, Paul? Don't think so. No, just let us know what you think. Yes, do give us a like and subscribe in the the, the little uh, buttons that you can click with your mouse below the video. If it ticks, tick all the boxes. <laughs> Is that not, that's quite a good pun, isn't it? <laughs> tick all the boxes. Tick all the boxes. Uh, tick, tickle our box, <laughs> is what Thomas is saying. Like, with your mouse. Like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> yes.
<laughs> yeah, we've got to say that after every video now. If you want to tickle the boxes tickle, below. Tickle, tickle, tickle our box. Anyway, <laughs> Goodbye. we should leave that there. See, it only comes from... Uh... Oh, what's the song, mate? Come on. NWA. But you've also got to hear Chaz and Dave. <laughs> Can't believe you never heard this. Uh... <laughs> uh, I can't believe you've never heard that. That's fantastic. Jazz and Dave. Rabbit, 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 Classic rabbit, stuff. Rabbit. Classic stuff. So that's brilliant. I watched a lot of. Um, did you ever? Did you ever see Top of the Pops two? No. Top of the Pops two was basically like um, a compilation show of. Um, top of the pops stuff so they would uh, it would they would have like um i think it was steve wright who does like radio 2 on sunday mornings or at least he used to um and they'd have you know he'd be like and here's one from you know here's Chaz and dave from 1975 doing this thing and there'd be a bit of info about it in the middle of it and then you'd be like and here's so and so from 1962 you know so it wasn't like a normal top of the pops where you'd have the what was on that week it was just, it was old random ones. So I saw you, there was so many things I came across through that, just like things that were just pure gold, like yes. things you could never know. Um, like you must know, um, I think some of the really random ones now, like um, the crazy world of Arthur Brown, no, like fire. I don't. My, oh. I'm lacking in uh, education. So bear in mind, this is a... Uh, I uh, presumably this is on, yeah, top of the pops, nineteen sixty-eight. Yeah. I've seen a bit from top of the pops. Do you see that? Mm. I am the god of hellfire, and I bring you fire. <laughs> I bring you to burn. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sam Smith, eat your heart up. Yeah, 1968. This is incredible, isn't it? He would actually have like a bowl of paraffin on his head. <laughs> Sometimes he got set on fire. <laughs> That's ridiculous. This would be right at home in a Doctor Who episode. <laughs> Yeah, man. Top of the Pops is a, a great introduction to all kinds of random stuff like this. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh. Where's he gone? You wouldn't think this would be 1968, would you? No. You didn't expect this kind of thing. It's quite a good song to me, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do a shallow proclamation live show like this. <laughs> 
Just so good. Just a proper random. Proper random. That's brilliant. But you can, you know, all that kind of stuff I came across as a teenager. You're like, ah, nice. Ah, oh, right. No, anyway. <laughs> <Stay here, mate. laughs> so, um, yeah, well, thanks, man. Appreciate that. No worries. Yeah, well, I'll catch you up. Uh, maybe we round it off later in the week or something. Yeah, yeah.